This is a Piece of the Attraction podcast with leading dating and attraction expert for men, Kezia Noble. Gloves off conversations, exchanges, debates and confessions that dish up the insights and serve the solutions. Now over to the lady herself. Welcome to a Piece of the Attraction podcast. For over a decade, my team and I have been helping men from across the globe enhance their lifestyles, improve their attraction skills, and maximize their confidence and potential in order to be their best and most authentic selves. The content here is unfiltered, and hopefully in this over-filtered era we all currently inhabit, our straight-talking advice, our honest confessions and insights will cut through all the niceties and serve to help you action better choices. This is a Piece of the Attraction podcast. Remember, you can find and download all the episodes on Stitcher, Overcast, Spotify and iTunes. Hello, Daniel. Hey, Did you enjoy that introduction? Yeah, that, was, that was long. <laughs> um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you'll notice a bit of a Halloween theme we've got going on here. And actually, we're in you and Ali's pad. That's correct. Um, and it's got a kind of macabre feel to it. So it really yeah. lends itself well to Halloween. So we've got the pumpkin, we've got the witch. I won't turn her on yeah, because that cackle is a bit annoying. It's a bit much. And I've got my witch's boots. Oh. Yeah, and I've got... Uh, they're sexy witch's boots. They're not had boots. They're sexy yeah. witch boots. Mm. Let's, let's be honest here. Mm, I like it. No, I love them. I actually quite like them. Uh, we put the skull behind you with the card. And, Lovely. Uh, it makes me look fat, though. <laughs> it does make me look fat having the skull behind. <laughs> you know, I remember a time when people used to be embarrassed about the fact that they met their partner from online dating. Like, I know people, and they would... Con- Clock this whole story about how they met and then after about six months you know that we'd have a little heart to heart and be like oh we met from online dating yeah and now people are just so chill about it i i'm, I'm thinking about the first time i did it and six years ago is when i was on it and the first wow, person six I, years ago yes it's, it's wow you are a veteran it sounds like a veteran but online dating is out a, bit, you know, a lot before that and i was in the middle of it where it's the thickest and tinder just sort of had it sort of like their first six months on there and it was really popular. Is, is Tinder that old? Um, six yeah. years? Yeah, 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 at least. I think Still it was going like, strong. Yes, I mean, it's the strongest that's out there. I, I think everyone talks about it, but when I first matched up with someone, I did, I did that. I kind of, I kind of, everyone asked, how did you guys meet? Mm. I'd made up a story for the first Six or seven times. It feels a bit cringe in those yeah, days. Th- Does it still feel a bit cringe? I think people were a bit more um, the the generation after mine. Um, I think they're a bit bit sort of liberal with it and they're happy about it. They talk about it like no. This. I feel I I I don't use it. Um, I I when I when I launched my book online dating success for men, I had to sign up to all these dating yeah. sites and to get re- to do research. But I've never done it personally. Poor guys. <laughs> I've never done it personally though, yeah. um, because I still feel like if I met someone for online dating, even though it's acceptable in other people's eyes, it's unacceptable in my eyes, which doesn't mean I'm judging other people if that's what they want to do. Yeah. But for me, I just feel like there's something, I, there's something still for me cringe about it. Yeah. And I still, it's pro- probably because I'm older, but I just still see it as a lonely hearts kind of last resort. I don't think you're alone in that one. I, I really don't. I, mm. I, I believe a lot of women are in the same position as you. They do believe it's a bit cringe, too cringe. Do you think so? Because yeah. I speak, because all, nearly all my friends now are meeting via online dating yeah. apps. My friend got married recently to a guy, but she was like, we met through online dating. And I was just like, oh, okay. And the thing is, I find it a really boring story. There was a meetup that happened not long ago that I ended up walking in on. It was in a bar, and there was all these couples, and I was in there, and I was just I was ask, asking how everyone knew each other. So we just all met, and and it was a meetup for online dating that people that got married for online dating, and it was a, a busy bar, 
there was a bar full of people. <laughs> Very busy. And it was like, there was a lot of people who got married. And I was, I was shocked because I never really heard of many people talk about it. I mean, I, a friend of mine that I grew up with, um, he met his girlfriend through online dating. I know so many people. But now the story is so common but it's marriage it's such a boring it's such a conversation end of that i'm very happy that those people found each other yeah, yeah. like my friend she's got a like a little boy now with him like you know her life's completely changed yeah, and she's yeah. very very happy so i'm genuinely happy for her but it's just like it's the end of that conversation you know like if i talk about how i met all the guys that i've been with there's a funny little story and um people are interested whereas we met online dating yeah, but okay, in, in, that's the end of that then. In years to come, I reckon online dating is going to be so big that Everyone kids can. kids are going to ask, so what online dating app did you meet mommy? Yeah. That's exactly how it's going to end up being. And, and I, won't, I won't be shocked about it because it is getting that way because people have, are, are using that, use their, they use their, they're on their phones every day oh. for yeah. hours. Yeah, I know. That their life is on this phone. Yeah, I know. So meeting a guy or meeting a girl on the phone is just as, as normal to them. For me, it's unnatural now when I look, when I look back on it. I used, I used it for so long and I, I, I was, I was, I've met many people. That, yeah, know. we'll talk about those, but how, what do you think are the big changes in online dating since you began? The, well, the change in the dynamic? It's, and... it's the commercials. There weren't commercials when we first did it. Mm. When I first did it, there wasn't really a commercial about it. Um, and then a year later, then you start seeing Match.com do it, and then all the other companies do it. You mean it. they have adverts? Like, yeah, TV adverts, radio adverts. Really? Yeah, they even advertise on football shirts now. There's like football companies. There was, there was talk about Manchester United being sponsored by Tinder. What has changed since you started using um, online dating? What's changed about it? The thing that has changed for me, my only personal experience in it, is that when I'm on it uh, in recent times, I've noticed that the profiles that I've been swiping don't swipe, you know, I don't get many, as many matches as I used to. Mm. Where when I first started, all the profiles were very much active. So every time you swipe someone, and um, you had a bearing of understanding that, you know what, she's the type of girl that would swipe me back, and you swipe and yeah, you yeah. match up. These days, it's, it's a, there's a lot of dead profiles out there. The profiles that people have been on it, used it, may have met someone, may have got fed up with it and left. And they forgot to deactivate. And they forgot deactivate. to delete it, deactivate. And so what happens is that there's a lot of profiles on there. It's millions. a graveyard. Yeah, so it's millions, millions of profiles that are unactive. Okay. Um, and some of them that tell you the last time they were active and it will be three months ago, six months ago, mm. nine months ago. And it, you know, you realize how that, how it all works now. So is that the only thing that's changed? What about the actual interactions that you have on there? Are people more to the point? Do people, or do people prefer to stay online and just have some sort of weird relationship online or do they take it offline quicker now? Personalities sticks with personalities. If that person's just going to use it for Talking, just talking. Some people use it for actual meeting. They do it. Some people use it as, uh, as as a way of they're too busy in life. They want to meet a guy or meet a girl, have a one night stand, and get on with it. Are the girls more proactive now than they used to be? Um, I, must, I imagine women, that the women are less creeped out now. Women are less creeped out now because it's more acceptable. Um, much more acceptable, and and I think what it is is like all things. Everyone tries to take it to another level extreme, where when I first was on it, the messages I would send, people were a bit sort of like, whoa, calm down, it's a bit too much. Mm -hmm. Now it's just kind of like, you're a little too vanilla for me, I'm moving mm -hmm. on. Um, so it depends on the personality, but it has, it has got to the point where women are a bit more forward with it now. Yeah. They know, they know the deal. Well, yeah, they know the deal and they know what they want to get out of That's it. That's good. But it also, there is a, there's also a negative to it as well. Why? Is that men, have don't like to be chased. Really. Men are, are, sh are scared of a woman being too forward. Yeah, yeah, I know. Men like to still chase. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. And women and men. But it like... must be easier for hookups, quick hookups, quick yeah. fucks. If both meaningless people, fucks. Or, yeah, if both people are on the on the same wavelength. Yeah, of course. You should make a, an app called Meaningless Fucks. You know why I also don't use it, by the way, is because I find well, this is the the main reason, is that I can't get a sense of who the person is. Right. behind a screen. Um, people are multi-dimensional. So just looking at someone's photograph and their clever, witty little tagline yeah. is um, often going to end in disappointment. I just know it. So I'll give you an example. Like I've been in a bar and a, a guy's walked in and he hasn't impressed me physically. But 
the way he's spoken with the people around me, the sure. way he walks, it, the, the energy, the aura, the way yeah. he looked at me. And suddenly I'm like, ah, oh, I feel attraction towards this person. Yeah. Um, you can't get that from a photograph. And I just, I, I, I know so many girls that use online dating and, and guys, and they are so disappointed. And you know, people are getting more disappointed because those filters are getting better and better. Yeah, and those taglines are getting better and people are getting wittier and funnier hiding behind their, yeah. their keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Because you think about it, look at how funny we were with our text messages 10 years ago. It was probably rather prosaic and to the point. Now we're much funnier, we're much more, we have much more banter, we're much more witty via text because we can edit, re-edit, we use emojis, we use GIFs, we use yeah. memes. And then when you speak one-on-one -on -one with someone, face-to-face, -face, and you don't have these little gambits to rely on. Yeah, that's right. It's a disappointing experience for many. Um, when I use online dating, I, I do say this to people, the women that I match up with online dating, because I, I got to the point where I just got fed up and I was just like, let me just match, right, right swipe everybody. Let's yeah, well, loads of guys do that. Yeah, There's an know. app that guys use. Yeah. Have you heard of this? Where it just swipe, just swipe, swipe. swipe. swipe so it'll swipe, swipe like the next thousand and then they just look at the girls who swipe back. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they don't even know and then they'll look at whoever's. Yeah. But when I use it, I, 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 I put this, because I do obviously both, I, I meet women in, in um, traditionally and, I'm, and online. And the, and the women I date traditionally are far, um, if it was on physicality, are far better looking than the ones I swipe and of match up with. because you saw how they looked in daylight or you saw No, it's not that. I think, mm. they get, I think it's more to do with me than rather than them. It's not about them because I would still approach that kind of girl online. I'd yeah. be like, yeah, she's nice. Mm -hmm. But she'll never swipe back on me. And the reason being is because... Because you're so hideously ugly. Because I'm so hideously ugly on, on <laughs> photographs. And in person, I, I, rely, I rely in person, I rely on my character mm -hmm. to, to escalate that. Like you said, physic physically, if you met someone, you wouldn't be like, yeah. But then, you know, after you're talking to them... You're oh, yeah. Like, Only yeah. like 50% of my boyfriends, I could say physically, I was immediately attracted. The yeah. other 50%, it was a slow burner. And yeah. they're the most powerful ones. I'm the, I like to be one of the slow burners, apparently. Oh, yeah. That's apparently why I am. He's not here to see ugly, by the way. If you're not watching YouTube, I mean, you know, looks are always subjective. But you're, I mean, for most people will say he is not a hideously looking monster. That's, that's, um, that's a very nice backhanded compliment, thanks. <laughs> it has, I think it's ruined people's banter massively online. I think just being on the phone all the time has ruined people's banter. Um, yeah. You know, men, I think men come to us literally years of investing time in apps. Because what happened around 2000, I mean, it got really big in 2014, 15, didn't it, apps? Yeah, it went crazy. And a lot, a lot less guys started coming on my boot, not a lot less, but, you know, it was noticeable amount um, were joining up in the boot camp. And that happened for about six months to seven months. Yeah. And then suddenly we were inundated because what happened is they thought, oh, I found the cure. I found this app. All I've got to do is swipe left, swipe right enough, and then I'll find the girl and sure. it will work out. The problem was is that they were going on dates and, and not knowing what the fuck to do. Um, and that's why a lot of guys came to us because, you know, they knew that they were hiding behind this persona online and that, Eventually, when they met those girls, they couldn't live up yeah, that's right. to that creation. We have a lot of students that, that, that tell, tell me some horror stories that they had on online dating, yeah. some that can't even get. Um, we, had, um, we have one guy, actually, who's a very good-looking guy physically, and he came on, he did that course a couple of years ago. Very good-looking physically, so he'd match up with some absolute hot girls, but he couldn't talk to them, even on, online. He was unable, to, he didn't know how to message, mm. And when he, and when he, I mean, he came on our course for a reason because he couldn't talk to women. So I could only imagine that how far it would ever have got if he had actually had dated any of these. It would have lasted 10, 15 minutes before the woman was like, I'm done with this. Um, so yeah, it, it has replaced conversation completely in person. And, flir and flirting. You, I mean, I've seen, everyone knows how to flirt on text. It's super yeah, yeah. easy, but flirting in real life is yeah, something yeah. else. Yeah, I'm I mean, a little bit the opposite, but yeah, no, I agree with you. These guys, they couldn't manage it. Yeah. So that means, you know, sometimes they were meeting these girls and even if the conversation was okay, they weren't able to escalate it. No, that's right. And I've noticed guys that are doing something a lot. This is interesting. Because uh, you know, like I date younger guys, it's my thing. Um, it's not like just, it's not my only thing, but I do like the young ones, fresh meat. <laughs> and um, what they do is, is when I meet up with them, they sometimes 
don't escalate one-on-one -on -one with me, but as soon as I say, okay, bye, they're texting me, sending, sending the most filthy messages. Mm. And, and I was thinking, why can't you do this face-to-face -face yeah, with right. me? Ugh, it's just something, I think a lot of women must have experienced this. It, all the messages come after, so the, the, the sort of actual date or whatever you want to yeah, call yeah. it is very nice and it's fun, but there's no sexual escalation. And then it all comes on the, you know, the text messages, like literally five minutes after I'm leaving, like, oh, you were so hot, I just wanted to do this to yeah, you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. pussy. I see, I see, I see, <laughs> I, see I see a lot with, um, I see a lot of, uh, a lot of guys I see, I see the messages they send. Some of the messages they send, I'm like, wow. I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty out there, right? Yeah. But in person, they're the most timid people I've ever met. Like they wouldn't, they couldn't say it to anybody. They would, they would be too afraid. Um, and I think that is just the way the world the world's going. We can't help it, but it's going that direction. Um, I, I like think to that. Sorry. I like to hope it doesn't, but you know. We'll talk about that actually. We'll talk about um, future life and beyond after <laughs> dating apps later. Um, I think that the reason why our students in the Seven Day Mastery Program and the boot camps are cleaning up is because women still want that story to tell their friends of how yeah. they met that guy. Yeah. Um, they want to make it for like, you know, um, fate and fortune, the stars are aligned, that kind of, you know, yeah. serendipity. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I do. They don't I, want to I, say I, we met online and we met through an algorithm. Yeah, I do. I we we met, we met because, you know, I happened to be at this place at that time. The stars aligned is actually a very, very powerful little story. But everyone has that story today. Oh, I wasn't even meant to be there. Yes. I've got that story. That's how I met my ex-husband. I mean, I was not meant to be there. I yeah. really wasn't. And I remember it was my brother. He called me up and he said, look, I need your help. I need you to be there. I'm not going to go into the whole story. And I was like, oh, fuck. okay, fine, I'll do it. And there was an option for me not to do it. And I did it. And if that had not happened, I would not have been a mom. Yeah. Or... yeah, yeah, yeah? No. But yeah. you see, no, you could say the same. Well, what if I hadn't swiped left or right? No, then it's, that, just it's just not the same. Like for guys, they all swipe right. We already discussed this. They all <laughs> swipe right. So, you know, you were just you were just the girl that just happened to have swiped right. And then that's it. It starts the conversation. Um, yeah, now that whole fairy tale story is disappearing. And it will disappear. Oh, you think that? Well, we'll talk yeah. about that in a minute. Um, for the people out there who are like, okay, thanks guys for that. But I think I'm going to be really stubborn. And I'm just going to carry on using dating apps. Um, let's give them some advice about, first of all, photographs. Guys or girls? We're doing oh no, just guys. Just guys, okay. Oh, girls will be fine. Yeah, just girls. keep adding filters, darling, and yeah, bunny ears, yeah. you'll be fine. Uh, with guys, um, photos. I just, I just stick to like a full photo process. Full um, photo process. Yeah, and I call it a full photo process because <laughs> I just, I couldn't think of a name for it. Um, full photo process. So it's kind of like a portrait photo of my face. Uh, one of my head to toe so they can see how I you are a slim tall guy slim tall guy well, okay but you are a slim tall guy yeah, yeah if a guy is a short round man then look get, I get think get to the gym and start stretching I, th I think that the better well I know I mean I did all this research and so I've helped a lot of guys with their online yeah. dating I think one of the best ones is do a, uh, put a photograph of you cropped so there's other people in it but you can just see like their hands or their arms because it reinforces the idea that you're not a loner and it's social proof. Yeah. But also I worry about It's getting that. less and less important now because people are presuming that you're normal if you're using online dating. Whereas Absolutely. before they thought, okay, we're all a bunch of weirdos in here and I have to know that you, you know, you're the one person who's not a weirdo like me and everyone else is just desperate. They don't yeah. have that anymore, but it's still a nice one to have. Uh, no long distance, that's proven to be really, really bad. Um, one of the images at least at least one should show you engage in an interesting activity so it's a conversation trigger so yeah, if you're yeah. into skateboarding whatever it is yeah. I, the pet one i do that one oh, what's one. your one of mine's just me hitting a golf ball oh really yeah, yeah, yeah. me hitting a golf ball or, or playing pool but it was me hitting a golf ball really and it's good conversation trigger isn't it with a girl you know most but most most women go you don't look like a person that would ever play golf because I don't look like a person. Because you golf. don't play golf. You just use the photo. <laughs> I just use the photo. I just want to just stuck my head on someone else. No, um, so it shocks some people when they, when they go, you play golf? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, that's what my dad plays. Do you and play golf? I don't care. Very well. I used to. I, I, um, have you played golf in Vegas? I've played golf in Vegas. I've played golf in um, Dubai, Europe. 
apparently where's the best place is in South Africa I heard oh, and I Japan know. Japan I played once in Japan it, it was it was a nice course the best one I, I um, America for me is always the best one which is the best one in America because uh, my ex used to do it so I used to go to all these not golf tournaments he used to play golf so I, yeah. I used to follow him while in the buggy and just watch for hours and I remember Vegas was a really nice one actually Vegas um, it's I've played I haven't played a Major course in Vegas it. it's too hot I played um, Pebble Beach is the one I played in America it was one I was I, I became I, I was able to f sort out a way that they thought I was a member so I basically stole a member's tag from someone else off, off their bag and they thought I was a member. So I turned up and they would grab my bag and set it all up and they thought I was a member. They didn't, there wasn't a login system. Is it very, is it very exclusive this it's place? $500 a round of golf. So yeah, I, mean, I played there six or seven times. It's a good course. Mm. Very good course. Another thing about photos, quality over quantity. That's a very important one. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people just stuff as many photographs in. Yeah, there. a lot of guys do that, and that's and I, I yeah. say and I look at it and I'm like, what are you doing here? You're right. Four is enough. Way, way more than enough. Yeah, portrait length, and there's a, a length one, an activity, and one with friends. I usually do. I think it's important that if you have uh, people in the photographs, if you choose to yeah. write who they are, say I'm with my mate Sarah or with my mm. mate Rob, my cousin, because people sometimes look at, is that an ex girlfriend? Is this? Uh, you know, is this his brother? They, they want information. Yeah, the, so the baby ones are the best ones. No. Then they go, that's not my kid. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because that's worked well. I think pet ones are strong. Yeah. I had, a, I had, me, cats. I had me and a dog, and then women would just go, can I date the dog? And they, it was just the dog. Was it my dog? I don't know. <laughs> not that thing. What dog was it? Uh, it was a blue, it was a blue uh, staff. Blue. Yeah, it's always the staffs. And it was, it was sorry in America. It's a Staffordshire Bull Terror, which is your ver that your version would be a pit bull. Yeah, it was they love cute, those big, cute mean face, dogs. sad eyes, like friendly eyes. And women used to just ask me if I could date. Would I, if I dated you, would I date the dog? I know they're so strong. Yeah. They're stronger than baby and ones. It wasn't I my think. dog, so I was always like, yeah, maybe. Most <laughs> dog travel photos. They're strong. Travel photos are great, but then travel photos, I always, I, 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 it's never really a good picture of you. It's a picture of the, of the background. So it's, it's, for everyone I look at, they takes one. It's like a tiny picture of them that you can't even zoom in and look at. So you can't see it. All you see is a silhouette of their face, a tiny bit of their face, and it's the whole background. So if, you, if you're going to take something like that, I'd be Make wary, sure wary that you look good in it. Yeah, of course. So you have to always look good in every picture. That goes without saying. I think guys forget about that. Women are very, yeah. very aware of it, yeah. of, of themselves. But I think some guys are like, oh, the profile picture looks good, so the rest can just be me looking absolutely I, shit. I, 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 give, I give you a little one. My friend used to use a lot of um, activity ones, but he used to use a lot of ones when he was skiing or snowboarding. No, you but, can't see their face. But no, here's the thing. It doesn't matter. What did he the do? The fact that he does it, what he does is that he takes pictures of professionals that do like professional stunts. And he snowboards, but he's very, very basic. He's like the basic snowboarder you've ever seen in your life. But he's got pictures of guys that do all these crazy moves. He goes, yeah, that's me. And because he's got the gear, women believe him. But it's always a picture, one picture that's not of his face, of a guy who's got a beard, because he's got beard as well. So it looks quite similar. I call that a small lie to reveal a big truth. That's, that's, that's a huge lie, I reckon. No, no it's a small lie. <laughs> because no, that guy, that guy... It's not you. Because when you see that, that picture but of the guy... can he do that? No, he can't do anything near it. Oh, okay. Well, he's a liar. We're <laughs> not going to encourage that. That's a proper lie. Um, men get more responses, apparently, when they're not smiling or they're smiling away from camera. See, yeah. women get a lot of responses if they're smiling because it means they're approachable, but a man smiling means, pick me, pick me, I need, I'm needy. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, I think... Men Do you smirk out. on yours? I bet you smirk. Is it serious picture? Brooding? No, mine's just mine's just like I, I can sort of like I can just see at the corner of my eye kind of smirk, but not. Yes, yeah, you smile. see smiling? You should try it. Just put a smiley one of you and see how like the numbers fall. No, it doesn't work. Well yeah, I mean I'll, I, for me it doesn't work. I can't I hate, I hate a picture of me smiling. No no no, but it doesn't work. But Women doesn't, don't I, like I hate, it. I hate seeing a picture of me smile, so I, I wouldn't even have one done. Let's talk about the profiles. Go on. Uh, first thing, guys, remember is to avoid general statements. So, I like travel. Fuck you. You know, like, I like travel. Yeah. Uh, where? Where do you like travelling? Why do you like travelling? Yeah, true. Uh, I love music. Which genre? Um, mm. Sport. Be specific. We've spoken about that. You know, even if you like gardening, why do you like gardening? So, again, it's this provides conversation triggers. 
Yeah. And it makes you more multi-dimensional. I mean, it's it's just so lazy when people put, I like going to the gym, I like eating, uh, and I like travelling. It's like, well, that's what most people do. What sets you Well, women do, women do it. I think men follow the suit of what women do. Women do that as well. A uh, woman put down... Oh, don't get me on started on those yeah. bitches that put women, stuff like... Hold on, that put stuff like... Uh, Fun, food, and fitness. That's, I hate that, bitches that, like that. No, because that, that involves words. Some people just put <laughs> "I like" and it's all emojis. No, that's all it is. It's just emojis. And you and, and and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? We are in the age of the bimbo. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. All this stuff about like me too and women and you know this whole thing about oh, all don't women. Give it down. Don't give a damn. The Me Too is ex- so... the Me Too is something they, they use whenever it, they use. No, it but it's like this sit. whole movement about women, female empowerment, and it's like all these girls are just reducing themselves to like, f- you know, food, fun, and fitness and emojis. Yeah. Don't we care to? I mean, like, I, I, if you've you, seen this. So if you, you see it now, mm. I mean, Insta- Instagram pictures, Instagram models are on Tinder for Insta bimbos. I know yeah. they're, just, they're shockers on there, but you know. Look, I'm not judging. I, I just want to help guys out there get I'm results judging. with them. <laughs> I'm judging. I'm judging internally. <laughs> Taglines. Taglines. This is quite important. So, um, so is there anything else you wanted to mention about profiles? No, on, on the profile side of it, it's just you're right. I mean, what do you mention on yours? Come on, give away the mine, goodies. Mine is just says that I'm a single father who is looking for a, a typical my my type of woman. So I describe the type of woman I'm looking for. Um, and I did not describe my, <laughs> I, that woman has to then deal with me, which I describe all my insecurities, all my problems. Really? Yeah. No way. Because I have a different theory, so I use it with Oh, use it, reveal. I want to hear different theories. So, if you went this on This is what ho- you've been sharing my seven day students, not telling me. I have done actually. Um, say for example, you go on holiday and you see a picture of this, the, the hotel room. It's amazing. Everything's perfect. No matter what, the picture's great, this is great, that's great, and that's great. You turn up to the holiday, and it is good. But you have one or two things that go wrong. Those two things will be the biggest highlight of that person, of that holiday ever. Oh, this was crap, and that was crap, right? But if you go in there and you evolve, say, holiday's great, but, you know, food service is a bit delayed, and, you know, the pool's a little bit cold than usual. Yeah, yeah. Jacuzzi works now and again. But apart from that, everything's amazing. If you go there, you expect all that to be wrong. If it is, you're, you're happy with it. You've been told, you've been pretty well, warned. That... But what that does is because I tell them about my weird things that they have to deal with, when they meet me- You're using reverse shocked. psychology, of course. Of course I do this with guys. I know. If I want, <laughs> if I want to get in a relationship with a guy, I say, I'm, don't get in a relationship don't with me. Relationship yeah, with me. I've got I problems, do the same I have thing. I've got something going on. And actually. suddenly, guess what? They want to get into a relationship with yeah, me yeah. and I've warned them. And it's the same, like, when I introduce my, fr- my male friends to girls, the first thing I say is, just trust me on this, I say, just stay away from him, he's bad news. He's, he's cool to talk to as a friend, but don't get involved. Guaranteed that they'll be all over him. Exactly. Yeah. I, was like, I love what you're doing That's, there. So I do, I do exactly what, what you do with that. But oh, I, 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 used it, I, used I, it, it. I used it like... And it's really working. Have you yeah. noticed since you've, you've added that to your profile? That you've been getting a lot more. I interest. used it three years ago, and it's not it's not just the interest. I get it's better quality. It's better qualities. The women I, I, I seem to get are always stronger women. Um, I have CEOs, lawyers, doctors. Um, that's what you you want. That's what I want because that's why I go for the in person. Funnies. Uh, I can't be doing that. Food, fun, and fitness, Daniel. Come on, it's all about food, fun, and fitness. Food, fun. <laughs> I'm, I've got a gym downstairs that I never use, so. I'm kidding. That's a really... Uh, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. That's a really good one. You're welcome. Taglines. Uh, I think we should avoid Captain Obvious headlines, like looking for a relationship. <laughs> um, just looking for in general is sucks. Um, you, you're little, doing it. No, you, you say, these are all my fucking problems, but you're not saying, I'm looking for you to fix them. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So there's needy, and then there's... Stand back, I'm... Yeah. If I'm the kind of guy you want to date, you have to watch out for this, 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 this. That's be okay, because I want to get the balance right. I want, like, our listeners to not make yeah. the mistake of, here are all my uh, wounds. Yeah, yeah. Please, you know, nurse me back to health. I don't want them to be... betraying themselves like that. It's a fine line. It is a fine line, and it's about being unapologetic about it. And most, most of the guys that would listen to this are the kind of guys that would not want to put that in there because they're worried that a woman 
would run away from it and you think oh, well, they were, you know, if I at least I put something good about myself that's what they'll go for but you demonstrate that with your photographs yeah You're, you've got a fun life you've got to, yeah that's the balance it's this is what I'm doing fun stuff of my life but yeah. I come with these caveats yeah but everyone's got caveats no but you're being unapologetic and that's, that sticks out but I think I'm looking for I've got to be careful with that I'm looking I, I'm looking for love obviously you're looking for something you're on this app yeah, but I think making it so obvious. I want to share. I want to share my voucher with somebody. I've I've read someone write that on there, and I was I was like little things like that just seem cute but very needy and kind of like really lonely. You've got a voucher and you only want to, <laughs> you're to spend it one person. Funny. Um, I've got a list of bad taglines actually. I found cool. on the internet looking for somebody wonderful. Just that is bad. Again, Captain Obvious. I'm seeking true love. Could that be you? That's creepy. That's too creepy. Likes pina coladas and taking walks in the rain. Is that the dog? It's a weirdo. No, oh, they're saying they, I like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought they were talking to the describing their dog. <laughs> so my dog drank Guinness and he used to run around in the, in the... No, likes pina coladas and taking walks in the rain. Really? That was a, that was a real one. Um, does anyone even read these things? Now, that's a passive, oh, that's passive that aggressive. No, I've read that one before. That, yeah, that's passive aggressive. Yeah. And it means you ain't getting clicks or swipes. Yeah, exactly. So don't use that, guys. So yeah. don't use anything which is like old pina colada line, which is like sounds romantic and that you're a little bit funny and kooky. Don't do it because it comes across online as weirdo. Yeah. Kooky is good, eccentric is good, but to convey those are very difficult to do in online, in like an online remit. Especially that last one you put in there. Now, does anyone read these? Um, but looking for somebody wonderful is awful and seeking true love. I don't like those. You think they're obvious, but I tell you, I'd run a fucking mile if I saw that. Well, the thing is, I I'm, looking, the but I'm looking at women's profiles because I don't... I don't oh, of I don't, course, yes. I don't, swipe, I don't swipe on oh, men's profiles. Women can put what they like as long as they've got a good photograph. <laughs> Um, I mean, I, I accidentally went, yeah, went on Grindr once. So did you? Oh, you it. accidentally went on Grindr? I'll try it out. Whoops! I was like, let me see if... Whoops, I've just downloaded Grindr. I was like, let me, see, I was like let, me see if, let me see if I'm appealing to men, because women at the moment are working. Apparently I am. Um, but no, there's, um, when it comes to profiles on women, that's you, all those things you write on there, those are the ones you read on women's profiles. I mean, like, I'm not saying now and again. So like, women are using the bad ones? All of them. All the time. Do you think women are very lazy when it comes to their online? No, they're good with the photographs, women. No, no but one They thing, will filter them and edit them, them to them. death. But one, one thing that women always put, which really winds me up, is not looking for a one night stand, not looking for a fling. If you're a fling, swipe left. Like. Oh, really? Really? Like, what would you, what would you put? There's such a defensive. That means that, that tells me everything that you've been, you've been flinged by guys before. Of and course, now, now, yeah. you're, like, now you're, now you're running. I've, so I've got no you're trust. wounded, I'm wounded, and the next person I date is going to have to deal with this shit. So, congratulations. That's pretty much what that sounds like. And every guy goes, all right, let's see. I, sw <laughs> I personally swipe right to see, to find out if she's actually being serious or not. And if she, if she matches up with me, I see, let me see how far I could take it. And a lot of them are willing to go as far as that. So they put on there, I don't want to flame, but they do. They really do. Like, so Read between it, the lines. Yeah, it's kind of like bullshit, kind of like defensive crap they put up there. Here's some good taglines. So I, I took a couple of my female friends and we went through them and we were actually all agreed that these were the good ones. Okay, guys? So these are real ones out there. I'm going to make a note. A gentleman and a scholar. It was just that. We, we all loved it. Oh, but God. But we did. But that's Vom. it. We all loved it. That's we, horrible. There was four girls, including me, so there's three other girls, all different, and we had a list of a hundred. But why would you write down that you're a gentleman? Why is your good qualities not... Why would you write down good qualities? I don't know why, but okay, I'll tell you what it was. I wouldn't write down good qualities, because all you're doing if is If you put questions. down... Okay, let me explain why. So we had a hundred to pick from. So that we had a hundred, a list of a hundred taglines that men had put up. Wow, okay. And they were considered good ones. And that was the one that we'd all pick. These How many glasses so of wine were drunk here. when you picked these? Um, no, no, none, no, no, oh, and, and no, no, genuinely, this is serious, Daniel, so we had these four, and what you're looking at is you're not familiar with what men are writing on their profiles, yeah. so if a girl's been swiping and swiping and swiping, she gets through a hundred, that's basically what she's seeing, so the one that sticks out, that must mean that a lot of them are very bad, but that one we like, a gentleman okay, and a fair. scholar, the other one was the whole enchilada, that was funny, <laughs> um, I like that one. In my mind, I sing just like Sinatra. That's good. 
Uh, this was a weird one, and we had to investigate what it meant, but it all caught our attention. It was, wait for it, uh, did you see what I'd done? Came here in a black Benz, left in a white one. Yeah, yeah. And I Googled it, Some, it's a man song. called Jay Huss, who, mm. a rapper, and it's a song called Did You See? I didn't know that, but we were just like, that's a cool line. And so we were hooked into it. So they are four ones that, um, yeah. what's your tagline? Um, <laughs> I told you, my one is just about me being negative. <laughs> But myself, <laughs> I don't understand why I would ever put down I'm a gentleman. No, but your because... tagline, what's your actual tagline? My tagline about me? Some, no, some that... apps have a tagline, that's why. No, I don't have a tagline. It's... Oh. No, because I don't, I wouldn't agree to put something like that up. <laughs> the, the last one, I would probably put up, because that's quite funny. It was a good one. But I, I would also mention that it is from a song. However, I would never put down I'm a gentleman because if I put down I'm a gentleman or I'm nice or I'm really I'm really good. The guy, hundred that we saw was so bad, most of them. Yeah, but if I if I put down, they were meant to be the good, quite good ones. But if well. I put down I'm a really good guy and I have to mention it on writing or wherever, it's been questioned. In my mind, that's been questioned. So I know women have said that to me. When people put down good good things about them, it questions whether that is it genuine or is it something that they have. They've, it's been has come up in their past. That they have to no, of course, I understand. I think you need to appreciate that there were a hundred yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it. And what we're trying to, I mean, they were, there was two there that I really liked and the other two were nice. But oh, that yeah. shows that that is the kind of level of The whole enchilada is nice. Yeah, oh, that was, that was you can have that one. Uh, good opening lines. Um, a lot of the ones I use is observational pictures. Um, mm. I don't really use opening lines. I look at pictures. I've got a full list here, and that's one yeah. of them. So I, I look at pictures and something that stands out. If I see a girl that wears the same colour in in in, the, in each picture, I pick on that. Mm. Or you if pick it's on it. you, yeah, yeah you're, you 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 um, you you're quite cocky and playful with them. Yeah, um, I can I can say something like, for example, if you're wearing all black. It's Halloween. Okay, it could be a theory, you know who died kind of thing but anyway if you um if you are going for a compliment i always say look hold back on compliments but i think a good one is has anyone told you that you look like that obvious that really does make people yeah, yeah i agree with respond that i use that one. it's a good response generator that one yeah, and it's the closest one. one i think you could use to a first compliment if I don't have anything to talk about in their pictures, I'll, I'll look to do something like that. And they always do look like someone. If you look at anybody, they will look like somebody. Um, I think another one is make a reference to something specific. So a type of food that they mention they like, a place they've traveled to, a hobby, yeah. and connect on that. So, you know, say something, if they've, if they've got a picture of them in Paris, rather than go, oh, I've been to Paris too. So fucking what? Rather than that, to say something like, oh, I loved Paris. Did you do the usual tourist stuff or did you venture off, you know, the beaten yeah, yeah, track? Yeah, yeah. Get it to qualify. Yeah. I so, talk about one, one, one specific thing in Paris. Yeah. And I say, this is what Always. I did and I loved it and I thought it was great. Did you do anything similar or was, you know, what was your mm. most memorable part about it? Another thing, guys, is please avoid making lots of reference points. So like, yeah. oh, I noticed you have a cat in that picture. I noticed you went to Paris. I yeah, noticed yeah, yeah. you look like this girl. Just stick to one point. Oh, can I go back onto the you know the mm. bit that you said about uh, you look like? Uh, the one thing that guys you shouldn't do is mm. say you look like someone I know. But as soon as you use that, and I've seen guys write that down, and I'm like, I don't crying. like it. I'm like, I'm dying. I hate that. When, when someone, someone says, you, that, me, you look just like my friend. Yeah, and I'm like, why? You, they're like, it's like, kryptonite to women. It's kryptonite. Well, but women, women should just go. Why are you not thought... dating your friend? Like, what's, yeah. So you wanna? And yes, and I've had a lot of guys say, you remind me of my friend yeah. Emma, or you remind me of this girl. And I'm thinking, it means you fancy that girl, and I'm just going to be like the replacement. Yeah, I, 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 I get that one when I'm, when I'm by women. I'm going to be the surrogate. <laughs> um, so connecting on it, um, I think short ones are okay. Yep. Like Katy Perry or Taylor Swift, question. It's a bit, bit nerdy, but can work. Yeah, yeah, used yeah, it in the past with yeah, my students yeah, yeah. and they said yeah generated quite a lot um don't do not say i bet you get this all the time never yeah. start with you know um flooding her with compliments you get this all the time yeah. i bet this is the millionth email millionth message you've yeah. received today yeah. never ever put yourself in that position always always stay positive and don't 
don't give her to don't qualify her. you have to yeah you have to know you're competing especially when you're on a, on a woman's profile you're competing with tens if not hundreds of other messages on a weekly basis if she's active if she's active on there she's actually swiping she will get so many messages mm. so you are competing it's just that it's don't state the obvious don't state the obvious and don't form the same patterns as what everyone else would do and, and you have to you have to break it you have to be different how do we get her offline how do you get her offline um That's the big one you gotta get to the point man um i don't i don't like to talk for too long the worst thing to do is 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 to start talking for, for a very long time I talk about four, about two, three, four things max, and then I'm like, when can we meet? Uh, it's just, it just, it just stops this crap where you end up messaging someone, and I've done it in the past where I've ended up messaging this one girl. She's very pretty, and I end up messaging one girl for about three weeks, and it was just nonstop. And then she wouldn't, like, even when we exchanged numbers, she just kept messaging. She wouldn't want to meet. Why? She's just scared to. She actually admitted that she was too nervous, and a lot of it. Do you have time for that? Do you want to go through that? No, it, it's it's a it's a pattern you'll end up falling into, and you'll accept that women just want to use you as a. They as do, a, and I, this is what guys just have to. It's it's a bitter pill to swallow, but um, I find a lot of these apps and 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 all this online stuff is just yeah. an extension of like Instagram and Facebook and collecting likes and ego boosts. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, find there's a lot of that, and I think it's. In, what is, it's a fine line though, like being proactive and saying, look, when are we going to meet and being desperate. Yeah. So what advice could you give to, to get that sweet spot? So what I do is I always, I always talk about something that I mentioned, maybe a, a place that we could meet. Have you ever been here? Have you ever been there? Have you ever eaten here? Have you ever eaten there? Have yes. you ever drank there? Have you ever drank there? And if they say yes or no, they haven't. I say, well, the cocktails are fantastic. We should definitely go there. Mm -hmm. I'll show you there's a thing. That, that's the way I use to, to actually push towards getting a drink instead of it saying, hey, we should grab a drink. So, um, that, so okay, so you don't say, hey, we should grab a drink. Yeah, or I don't say, you make oh... make it more specific, like the place yeah. that you're meeting first. I kind I can't, I can't, I can't do two things. One, I don't want them to talk about themselves. So when they start talking too much, I'm like... I really? Always, yeah. Now, oh, that's super interesting because most guys will think I've got to get her talking about herself as much as possible. No. When she starts talking too much about, I mean, I, I ask where she's from and if she's from, not from London, where, you know, when did she come in and how long she's here, what does she do? Once she starts getting into her stories about herself, I ask to stop. I say, I don't want to know too much because if I tell, if I hear too much about you, what are you going to say when I meet you? You're going to sit there timid and do nothing. So you're using f future projections. Yeah, yeah. so and I, and I say that, you know, when we, when we meet, we can discuss it when we meet or we can talk about it when we meet and I'll tell you, I'll tell you my story when we meet. What if yeah. she, what about timing? So, you say it's about four or five messages in. I, I got four or five messages in, I kind of figure out, I, I get a feel for whether she's going to be, not four or five messages, but four or five kind of conversation-ish mm -hmm. messages in. I get a feel that, is it going to happen or not? Then I start looking to, to push it towards that. Mm -hmm. um, what if she ghosts you? Well, if she ghosts me, then that's her, that's her loss. But what if you think that, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pursue this? What would you do when she, they start to kind of like drift away? Not completely ghost you, but see, I'm in a little bit different state than than most people because I don't, I don't believe. I believe. Well, first of all, I know why because you see other options. You can meet women in clubs and bars. Yeah. You are not restricted like some guys were. Like I only meet online, so you don't have that. This is another thing, actually. I've just realised is that a lot of guys who rely too much on online dating. Yeah they have limited their options, so this air of desperation will come out. But it works out. Because they become desperate, that's the only option. Whereas you can say, you know what, I can walk away yeah. from, I can, I can delete all my apps and I'll get laid. Here's the thing, desperation is one thing, but what happens is that a lot of people don't talk about it, it's frustration. Because what they do is they treat, they their, they, they treat, they treat their online dating as actual real life to them. So they get frustrated when they don't get matched up. And when they do get matched up, the conversations don't go, they get frustrated. Which only means that when they meet the girl, they have all that pant up energy of frustration kind of goes onto that. And that happens purely for the fact because they only see that as the only way they're gonna meet women. Mm -hmm. But like you said, because I have other options and I do use my other options more so than I use online dating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Online dating to me is more of a hobby. And I'm on that's it whenever it I'm, be. yeah, I'm on it when I'm bored and I'm another on it. Another option, just another that's option. That's what girls are doing. Girls are only on it when they can't be bothered. I mean, most of the people I, I, I match up to 
after four days of swiping or whatever happens on the weekends. Mm. So during the week, they don't use it. They're working, they're busy, they see their friends, that's mm. all they're doing. Weekends, and it's usually a Sunday, mm. that I get all these matches. That's a good time to go on. That's a good time, they're probably the best time to go on, but if you want to do your work beforehand, don't get frustrated. Leave to the weekend and you'll match up to the girls because all the girls go on it at the weekend and be like, well, I've got time free, let me have a couple of swipes. I think you, you, you're you bang on the money there. Keep, keep it as a hobby. Yeah, it has to be as a hobby. If you make it, so if you many make guys, it We've helped so many guys and they've lost years yeah. on online dating. Because they get suckered into it. Like, but, but into it. And you know it's all about now, you know Pedro, what he mentioned, something about algorithms. Yeah. He said algorithm, algorithms are going against men. They're going really against men who are not getting swiped. Yeah. Uh, right, or whatever it is. They're, they're, <laughs> That's too techy for me. I, I'm not a techy person. No, so he's really techy. I might talk about that with him in another episode, but he went into it in great detail. This is way beyond my capacity. Yeah. And, I, and he, I, he I said that that's why they're going to start making men pay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there is, there is the options of making them pay just because I've paid for Tinder and I've used Tinder for a year for paying because I wanted to see what the difference was. And? And I matched up with a hell of a lot more oh, on there than outside shit, really? of it. Yeah, yeah, of course I did. I mean, I could, sw I could swipe for as long as I'd like to. And, why did you um, get off it? Because it's... Don't it. I don't need it. No, it's... I mean, even the, girls I, even the girls I meet are nowhere near it. But it's, um, you know, but like all things, like in, including if you're gaming, I try to do, I try to teach game and do game in my, in my, as a part of my lifestyle mm -hmm. and not have it like, oh, I've got two hours free, I'm going to chase after women. It's just, it's the same mentality as if you had like, sitting there and you kept swiping while you got time and then you get frustrated because you're not getting any matches. It's the same thing if you want to do that with game. Mm -hmm. You ha it has to be a part of your life. So if you want to do online dating, it has to be a part of your life and not your life. You can't surround it it's with... It's not going to be that... Sh it's not that silver bullet. It's not that shortcut no. that everyone expects. Because that's it. That's it. So many people have come to me and they're like, I've spent two years and I, you know, I did everything that the book said I should do. And I, with my ebook, and, and, and you know, we've helped our students yeah, yeah. improve their profiles and we look at their messages and we help them, you know... Get, get girls that way, but uh, there comes a point when you need to put that phone down and start talking mm -hmm. to women and having other options because women can smell it on you. Yeah. They're like, oh, this guy is knee deep in apps, you know, and he's not actually talking to other women. It's not the silver bullet, it's not the, f it's not the solution. Um, but with the algorithm thing you said, I, 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 I go with that, um, Laura that used to work for you, um, you know, we're friends and we talk all the time. But we, she's on, she was on Tinder when I was on Tinder. Mm -hmm. And we hung out a lot, like all the time, mm -hmm. for about the uh, best part of two to three months. Mm -hmm. We matched up in the third month. And we would swipe in, 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 in front of each other to see, oh, would, would she see my profile or would I see her profile? She saw my profile first and it didn't come onto me for a while and then mm -hmm. we matched up. So. Conspiracy. Yeah, I mean, there is an algorithm. There is something messing around with it, and it doesn't favour the guys, and it purely is women get it for free, and men have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that's just, that's just how life is. Men have to pay for most things. You go to a nightclub, guys go to pay. Girls get it for free. So it's, it's, it is, we're at the end of the day, where men are meant to be hunters, and they're chasing after what they want. Mm -hmm. But if you rely on online dating as, as, as the only form, then you're going to be frustrated and swiping for many months, many, many, many months. So the question is, it, the question is not, is there life beyond dating apps? I mean, life is beyond dating apps. Yeah. That's is, the is there life with dating apps? <laughs> yes, the that should be the question. And I don't, I personally don't. We're going for a massive dating app hangover, I believe. You think it's going to get worse. This mm. is where, you know, we... We, you know, There's a new one now, Hinge, and I'm and and I, I I looked on it. I've been on it now for the hinged and the unhinged. And I've been on there for like three days. It's a slightly different philosophy. It's not swiping philosophy. I think what they should have is one with a fucking video, no filters they allowed. Do, no, no, do videos now. No, no, but you're only allowed videos. You're not allowed oh, photographs. Okay. Just videos because I know so many people that have gone and met people and said they didn't look anything like their picture. It's harder to edit a, a, a video. Oh yeah, I've been Much some harder. absolute stinkers. I know. What do you call them? Clangers. Clangers. <laughs> Like absolute clangers. Well, and they looked on, amazing in their pictures. Yeah, I've been on, I've been on some where I just I one. They were so funny with their messages. No, one was a completely different picture, and I and I asked her, well, she's and cute. she said and she said that's when I was modelling, and I was like, nineteen eighty seven. What decade was this? 
and she and she didn't laugh and I was actually being sarcastically as my way funny because I was laughing on the inside and I had to laugh on the outside because it was so bad that I because I actually cancelled meeting somebody to go on this date because I thought she was an absolute rock star I can't wait messaging was great whatever and I turned up and I, I mean she told me that I mean, look, I'm one for like meeting women with intelligence because that's all I'm, I, I'm after that massively. A lot of the women I do date are intelligent and are very, very, very That's why you like older women. I like older women, but I also like women that are rounded and, and literally, are, you know, they, they're there. And I know, even if they're young, I met a young girl. Worldly rounded, not yeah. rounded as in. Well, I, met, I met a young girl who's so intelligent that she blew me away. But she was young. She was only, she was only 23. But, so she just blew you. <laughs> but anyway, so like, so I, I love all that. But yeah. if, if that's... Yeah. No, the photograph can't be too... Yeah. Um, okay, so we're coming to the end of this episode. I, I, uh, my take is that people are becoming sick of dating apps. I think people are getting really disenchanted with it. I've heard people, I've spoken to women, I've spoken to men, they just go, it's like disappointment after disappointment. Yeah. I think we are... We went to the cinema the other night and... Um, we, I looked at, you know, how many people were queuing up for the cinema and they always said that TV and Netflix would kill cinema. But people want nostalgia. Yeah. Uh, they said Maybe ebooks well, would yeah. kill books. Books are like, you know, everyone loves books now. It's, it's nostalgia. Everyone's going back to something which was tangible, which, had, which was real, wasn't yeah. digital. You know, I, I always call it like, you know, an analogue in a, in a digital world. I always feel like I'm an analogue in the digital world. Um, yeah. And I think people are going back to that, and I think that's happening with dating also. People want to meet somebody, they want to smell them, they want to sense who they are before they commit to seeing them again. Um, so I think we're, we're, we are experiencing a hangover, and I think it's gonna, you know, it's gonna go on for a bit, and I, I, I the problem we don't have. think it's gonna be as, not, it's always going to be now acceptable, yeah. but there's going to come a point where people are like, oh, sod this for a laugh. You know, I'm going to try something else. Because, you know, yeah. people are getting disappointed. They are getting disappointed, but the problem we have... Our students, the they come to us because, you know, they're disappointed with that black hole That's of true. dating apps. Well, the problem we have is that the women that guys want to date are on dating apps. So they go on dating apps in the hope, because they can't talk to them, in the hope that they meet up through that. And the, the newer, the younger generation that keeps coming through, every year we've got, we've got millions of people that are turning 18, they go straight onto a dating yeah, app. They've got shocking social skills. They've got, they got no social fuck. skills. Yeah, they've got no, no social skills. So they go straight on a dating app. But then app. they meet on the date and no one's talking to each yeah. other. Everyone's sitting there so, like... So my argument is for every thousand that we get who decide to want to go back to the traditional, we get another 100,000 who are like <laughs> dating apps. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a constant battle. So yeah, it is going to be in our lives for a very long time. It'll be a generational thing then. Yeah. But it will get to the point where, well, you know, mummy, daddy, what dating app did you guys meet on? And it will get to that because it's, it's going down that way. But there, will always, there always will be people that want to go back to something tangible to meet him for the first time, but actually like in a, in, like you said, the most romantic way possible. Yes, and it is. Daniel, thank you very much thank for you. being the guest on A Piece of the Attraction podcast. Thank exactly. you for being so open. It's cool, man. Okay, guys, um, yeah, check out the website, kezia-noble.com. Find out more about the seven-day mastery program. If you're still stuck on dating apps, then at least get the e-book how to increase your success rate with online dating. I think that's the name. I don't even know the name of the ebook. That's shocking. Yeah. Or you could just come on the course and then speak to me, I'll help you. Oh yeah. <laughs> online dating success for men, that's it. Okay, uh, yeah, check out the website and we hope to see you soon on one of our live events. Take care. Bye. Bye.